really doesn't take the rematch. It's so weak. It's like it's like an admission that I can't win the fight. And what's he going to do? Have a warm up fight? Don't need a warm up fight. He has the rematch. He has to exercise it. Yeah. You know, whether he whether they think he can win or not, it's going to be a very difficult fight. Is that the right thing to do next? Go straight in. One hundred percent. If he doesn't take the rematch, it's so weak. It's like it's like an admission that I can't win the fight. All right. So Demetrius Bivol says that he wants to fight Canelo Alvarez at one sixty eight. Basically, he wants to fight Canelo at his weight class because he didn't appreciate all the excuses that Canelo Alvarez has came up with. It was this. It was that. It was his vegan diet. It was his hand. It was his training camp. It was a whole bunch of things. So Bivol wants to fight him at his weight class. So therefore, he can no longer have any excuses. And the funny thing is, is every time it comes time for Canelo Alvarez to prove all the praise that people bestow upon him he does the complete opposite a lot of the canelo alvarez fans would be like well you know he's just doing what mayweather has done and he's not nowhere near close to doing that you know um people can say that he's on his level or that he's better uh, a lot of people scratch their head how could you say something like that especially when he lost to floyd but still when it's time to put on that demonstration of him being a so-called this great fighter or this great pound for pound fighter, he doesn't make any pound for pound fighter moves at the end of the day. He just simply doesn't, you know, and Eddie Hearn has already revealed how he feel if he didn't challenge Bevel again. He said that it would be weak. Well, I guess he think Canelo Alvarez is weak because Eddie Hearn just came out and said he wants to make a fight with Canelo Alvarez and John Ryder. So that basically tells you how uh, Eddie Hearn feels about him right there. You know, he already said it'll be weak if he didn't rematch him. And then he's talking about lining him up with um, John Ryder. But this is the thing. I don't care where Canelo Alvarez turns. It's going to be a tough fight, period. You either lose to this guy or lose to that guy. I think if you're going to lose, if you're going to go out, you might as well go out rematching Bivol. You know, because at least there's some consistency there. At least people can give you credit for going back in the ring with somebody who most people doubted that you would even get back in the ring with. You can prove people wrong through there. And being that in boxing, you can still have a victory with a loss depending on the performance you put on and the uh, courage it takes to rematch or challenge somebody who people view is on a higher level than you. Then that would be a great way to go out. But Canelo Alvarez is not interested in that. But, you know, it's only a matter of time that he could keep this up for so long. But now is the time where all the questions are answered and the veil is lifted. And he was nowhere near the fighter that people said he was. And I was even one of those people who was fooled. See, the thing about Canelo is he got the same thing going on that Errol Spence got going on. A whole bunch of good names, but none of them was in their prime and none of them was killers. Their time has long passed them. You know, and this is what I said. You got to know the difference between um, a good name and a quality opponent. Most fighters, well, not most fighters, but most boxing fans don't know that. You know, they'll just go off the name. You know, and I said you can't do that. But that's what basically, uh, that, that's basically the, uh, the horse that Canelo rode in on. He rode in a bunch of old names. Like I said, I will always use this as an example. They gave Floyd hell. For uh, fighting um, Miguel Cotto. Talking about he was too old. So basically gave him no credit for it. Canelo fights this same old fighter five years later. And it was a good win. But that's the double standard and the bias in boxing. But like I always say. That double standard and that bias stuff will always come back to bite us in our ass. Because it stops us from getting the fights we want. Because fans do not keep the same energy. If fans kept the same energy... Just like I said, nobody can hide anywhere. No ducking would go on because we're all on the same accord. We want to see you fight the best if you're claiming to be the best. You either put up or shut up. But when we favor a fighter because he waves a Mexican flag or that his skin is pale or even that his skin is dark, this is what happens in the game. And I'll always keep reiterating that. But anyways, this is my thoughts on this. Like, comment, subscribe. Bruce Vayne, I'm out.